Nice. All right. I can't wait for this to be difficult for me later. <laughs> I'm glad we have a good editor here at Sitting Max where I don't have to do anything. <laughs> All right. Well, with that, let's start the video. Max, do an intro. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Tin and Max, the channel that has a good editor and I don't have to do anything. We're back with a new video. Um, today, we're going to be talking about something a little bit different, what I'm very excited about, uh, because as you know, uh, if you are, a I don't know if fan excited the channel, is the word. Um, that we are, are, we are fans of Persona, aren't we? Aren't we there, Tim? No. Oh, I'm I guess kidding. I'm yes, a yes, fan we of are. <laughs> You're a fan of Persona because I was a fan of. Persona. I got you into Persona. You're welcome. Okay, but everyone had to get someone into everything, right? Who got you into Persona? Myself. I, no, no, that's not how it works. Yeah, you no, I bought the game ad, myself. Which someone like place that ad or like this is you completely saw the game on the, the store point. and someone put that game on the store you are a fan of persona <laughs> because of somebody just like yeah that. okay so anyway <laughs> max's rants aside sega who uh, actually owns the publishing rights for all things atlas i'm pretty sure don't don't quote me on that they are working on and it's very vague at this point but they said they are working on live action material tv shows movies whatever based on atlas games such as shin megami tensei and persona what exactly that means and what's being adapted no one knows your guess is as good as mine but we're gonna talk about why we think that's stupid right max i do think it is very stupid <laughs> I'm excited to talk about it. i don't know i just think getting right into it i just don't think persona really works as like it's not going to work as well live action i don't think anything atlas really does would work super well as live action they're also stylized and like i feel like it would also be expensive to get it to a point where like the personas don't look like garbage you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and like all the demons if they're doing like a shin megami tensei and like do you do a movie for, for persona or do you do a tv show you know what i mean yeah well, I mean, I think either way, it's a losing battle. I mean, doing a live action, you're going to have to get actors in there. And most likely, these actors are going to suck if they're <laughs> doing this live action persona thing. It's hard to get like good actor acting nowadays. And if you have bad acting in a persona game, number one, that's going to suck. Number two, persona has a lot to do with having like different relationships with people in the sense of, not all just, you know, uh, lovey-dovey relationships, but just relationships where, you know, they're hanging out and stuff like that. It's going to feel really strange and odd when it's not in a video game, right? It's going to it's gonna be just, like, kind of forced in there, and then there's going to be a forced person that the main protagonist has to choose. It, it takes away what's so great about the Persona games, and that is that you have a lot of choice, and that the storytelling is so amazing, and that the art is so fantastic. How are you going to get that with live action? You know what I mean? I don't think it's impossible. I just don't think Sega will be able to pull it off. Yeah. I mean, look at Sonic the first like, time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. People like the Sonic movies. No, I like the Sonic movies. I'm saying look at the very first time Sega tried to make a Sonic movie. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then the internet yelled at them. The cursed monstrosity that is Sonic uh, the Hedgehog from the beginning. Good times. Okay, so let me ask you. Do you think... It could potentially work if it's an original story and not an adaptation of an existing game. Do you think that would be a smarter move for them to do? Oh, by far, I think it would be a smarter move for them to do if they were going to do it. I don't think it would still work, though, to be honest. Um, as much as I'd be, like, I'd probably watch it and everything like that. I, I don't have a lot of trust even though the Persona universe itself is so complex and so cool, it can have so many storylines, how difficult would it be, again, just to get all that artwork essentially in live action? And you'd have to have really good acting in it. I, get, I just don't trust Sega to, to put that much money into a project like this, you know? Um, because Persona is popular as a game, yes, but video game adaptations normally fail unfortunately when it comes to going into tv or to movies so i just oh, hold, i don't have a lot on. of trust with it you know yeah i mean in like defense of adaptations all well not all persona 3 4 and 5 all have anime adaptations yeah which are gonna work a lot better 
as an adaptation of a video game than a than a live action thing because you can keep the same style and art of the game you can keep all the voice actors and for the most part I really like the adaptations I've watched all th- four Persona 3 movies I've watched all of the Persona 4 anime all of Persona 5 and like even those which are about as close as like a direct adaptation of the game to like something else like to like TV as you can get even those are very kind of hit or miss with fans when it comes to like whether or not they like them a lot of people criticize like the persona 5 animation anime for like bad animation and whatever and being rushed and the, it's just, it's still, like even with like 26 episodes of story they still have a lot of the games that they have to cut out because those are like a hundred hour games with so many different characters and everything and even then like with the especially with the persona 3 movies like there are only four hour and like a half or whatever movies compared to like the 26 20 minute episodes of the other two there's just a lot that has to be sacrificed at that point and don't get me wrong i love persona 3 movies i think they are gorgeous films i think it's a really well done adaptation but it just wouldn't like you couldn't condense that down into one movie so like you'd have to do like a series you'd have to do like a whole franchise and like that's so risky these days with how kind of burnt out people are on franchise building just in general right right well let me ask you a question here because you know the smt games um a lot because you've played them a little quite a bit i played two of them Um, let's be fair (laughs) we talked a lot about persona but do you think those games could be made into a live adaptation um i don't know the answer to this one because i haven't played those games what what are your thoughts on those i think I don't know. I think to the same degree of success as Persona, but even less so because the Shin Megami Tensei games arguably have a less mass appeal than Persona. Persona, and I have a video that's either out or coming out soon that talks about this a little bit. Persona is way more inviting to newcomers than Shin Megami Tensei is. Shin Megami Tensei is it's it's darker a lot of the time. Its story is less like direct, if that makes sense. Like it's not. It's I don't know I I think it I think it'd be make a great movie or something I just don't think a lot of people would see it but you no know, actually then again maybe that's what it needs like maybe if a really good adaptation of an SMT storyline or whatever was made maybe a lot more people would be interested in the games after seeing how because I do think the SMT games have very interesting and unique stories. And, like, they always have, like, a very specific message to tell and whatever. And, like, obviously Persona has a similar thing, but Persona has a bigger focus on, like, characters and relationship building, which you're not really going to get in SMT. So maybe that's another thing SMT has in its corner when it comes to adaptations is the relationships don't really matter so much as, like, the philosophy behind the story. So maybe that would be easier to adapt than Persona in that case. And, like, it also just comes down to, like, is it going to be a movie? Is it going to be a TV show? Which ones? Like, are they going to try and add that Persona 3? Which I think would, out of the f- three games that I've played of Persona, I think that one would be the easiest to just do a single movie of. Not saying it would be good, but I think it would be the easiest to make the most sense. Maybe Persona 4. Persona 5, I don't really see it being, like, a movie. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. I just I think that they should come out with something totally original and just make it where it is. It can even feel like in like the same kind of universe, but not the same um, as like Persona or SMT. I think it needs to be something totally original and new and not even an adaptation, but just it can follow the same kind of general idea of what these games are. But I I just don't think that they should do a Persona movie. Um, I think that would just flop, to be honest. Yeah, it might. I think it also depends on how much, like, they keep from the games. And, like, are they going to do what Netflix did with Death Note, which everyone hated? And are they going to Americanize the story that's originally set in, like, every Persona game and SMT game basically are set in, like, Japan, right? Do you try to westernize it for the wider appeal of, like, the American movie-going audience? Or do you just 
try and keep everything Japanese and still hope that you can get that kind of reach. Because that's the thing studios struggle with a lot, I feel like. Netflix, Death Note's a big example of this. They didn't think the original story would do well, so they Americanized the whole thing and everyone hated it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, like, would they try that? Are they going to keep it in Japan? Are they going to... How... What kind of actors are they going to get? Like, when this when this story first broke and Sega announced this, basically, a lot of people were, like, making jokes about Tom Holland being hired as Joker to, pl to play Joker. And, like, how much of a possibility is that? You know what I mean? Like, should we genuinely be worried that, like, big-name actors... I'd much rather them kind of aim smaller, get some more up-and-coming actors and actresses and nail the personification of characters then try and get big names in to draw in more people but that's probably what they're gonna do right right and that's why i think it's gonna fail <laughs> <laughs> i think yeah i think again it sounds like they are very focused on actually doing this and it sounds like it's gonna be a thing that happens but man am i well i mean it seems like they're kind of testing it, the water i think i'll be nervous oh, i'll definitely watch it we'll watch it for the channel <laughs> yeah 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 we'll watch it on the channel <laughs> yeah I don't know. There's just so many. I guess there's so many variables at this point. I think no matter what, it would probably be a bad idea. And hey, I honestly hope that we get proven wrong. Yeah. I would love to see these movies released, these TV shows, and be good. And like, I think I'd rather. What would you rather? Like a TV show with a pretty high budget, like a like an HBO show or something, like a Netflix show. Yeah. Or like a like a really high budget movie. What do you think? Which would you rather see come from this? I would rather see a really high budget TV show um, and Same. where they take their time and actually make it really good. You know, don't rush it. Don't try to fit everything into two and a half hours or two hours, because honestly, there's if they are moving forward with doing like a persona story, those are long and fitting that in a two hour cut is just not not going to do it. And it's crazy how TV shows nowadays have become these uh, essentially like really 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 long movies um you know that, yeah. that have happened and so i think if you're gonna do this it needs to be a tv show it cannot be a movie what are your thoughts on that i think it would have to like i i think smt could work as a movie because like i said the story is a lot more like i don't want to say simple because that's not not the right word but it's more straightforward than like a persona game like an smt game is going to be like half the length of a persona game you know what i mean i think that could potentially work as a movie especially if you take out a lot of the fluff and you'd have to do that regardless. Cause a lot of, if we're being honest, a lot of the persona games are repeating like a formula. Like you have a dungeon, you go into the dungeon, you solve the puzzles, whatever you beat all the bad guys. There's a boss, there's a deadline. There's a lot of that, you know what I mean? And it works in a game setting, but it wouldn't work so much with a movie or TV show. So I think a lot of that would kind of have to be modified. Um, but, like, Persona would have to be a TV show if you wanted to get the same effect of growing with and learning to love the characters you're presenting. Because that's what you want from Persona. You want a group of misfits that discover this power within themselves and want to change the world for better. However they do it could be different than the actual games. But that's what you want. And you want to feel something for these characters because that's the whole point of the confidants and the social links is it wants you to build a relationship and so much of that plays into the games of, like, this is where your power comes from, is from your relationships. Right, right. It'd be so much better to portray that. like, And, like, you could even do it, like, a four-season show, if you plan it out, is, like, one Persona game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. each season yeah. covers, like, a certain, like, a couple arcs. Like, for, let's say Persona 5, the first season covers up, covers to, like, Makoto joins or something. And then, like, you have, like, the next season could be whatever. You know what I mean. Like, just cut it up, split it up a little bit. Yeah. No, I think it could work really yeah. well. <laughs> um, but I, I just, I don't have a lot of trust that they're going to be able to figure this out to make it where it's, it's really good. with Human adaptation. Again, that's, like, a live adaptation. I think they could make an anime, and it would work great. Or, like, a well, cartoon, you know, TV show. I would love to see some more... I mean, we never got, like, the English version of the Persona 3 movie. I would love that <laughs> if they're going to sure, do yeah. stuff with the movies. Yeah. And I don't know. Another thing that kind of concerns me is just, like, the Personas and the demons of the game, how are they going to look live action? Because they'd have to presumably be mostly CGI 
would that would look bad right <laughs> oh 100 yeah 100 you'd have to make it where every single person like persona 5 essentially has one persona including the protagonist you know yeah. and it would essentially be almost like a almost like you know like a pokemon essentially you know detective pikachu essentially that kind of style of monster essentially you know or demon um that would come out so i but i again it's with how the innuendos they have with the the demons and the persona i it would be very difficult to do i think <laughs> it'd be much harder than detective P- like pokemon i think can translate pretty well because you can kind of keep like the cutesiness of it but the personas and the demons are so diverse you know what i mean yeah you go from like the cute little jack frost to like the literal devil like <laughs> those aren't how are those both going to translate to the screen and look like they belong together you know what i mean right i mean you have to pick and choose personas that's the big thing right oh, yeah. you wouldn't be able to have all of them that's that's kind of the ticket there um you'd have to choose specifically which one would be able to translate the best and go based off that and then again each persona user would only have one persona not two you know maybe there's a twist where someone has two at the end or something like that but Right. It has to be something like that. You wouldn't be able to have many personas, which again, how would you do dungeons then where they're going through and how would you show those fights? Is it just like one fight that's happening and then it's done? Like, you know what I mean? Like how would the fights look in live action? Right. Cause a lot of the time the fights in like the animes and stuff, most of it is the personas doing the fighting as right. opposed to what you see in the game where like the, the persona user gets up close with like a weapon. And most times in the anime, you don't really see that as much. It's the personas doing all of the fighting, which I guess they could still do in the live action. But like then it's just CGI monsters slapping against each other. It's just King Kong versus Godzilla all over again. Hey, I like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. Shoot. And like that's the thing. like They wouldn't be able to put in the money that King Kong versus Godzilla did, I don't oh, think. No Not for something no that way. like... At this point, is risky. Like Persona, the game is huge. Persona Five is massive, but that doesn't necessarily translate to everybody who likes the game seeing the movie or watching the TV show. Right. And like, how many casual non-Persona fans can you get to watch it? Because you would need that audience too to justify it. Right. People who have never played Sonic the Hedgehog in their life have gone to see that movie because their kids wanted to go see it. Yeah. You're not going to get that with Persona. <laughs> right. Well, and let's just focus on making Persona 6 uh, so that we can play <laughs> Persona 6. <laughs> so that's the thing. It's got to be, a, like, I don't know how much Atlas would actually be involved in this process. Like, are they going to get the same writers that do the Persona and SMT games, the same designers? Are they going to be involved at all? Probably not. <laughs> it's going to be its own thing. Atlas will have little to no say. Who knows? Right. And again, that's where it's going to be its downfall, unfortunately. But hopefully we're wrong. Hopefully yeah, we are Yeah, I'd love for it to be dumb. good. Let us know what you think down below in the comments. This was kind of a ramble of a video, but we just wanted to get our thoughts out there and kind of talk about it. It's an interesting idea. I I am excited to see what comes of this. <laughs> right. And if the, first, like, if the first trailer launches and it looks fantastic, then, hey, I'm all bored. If the first trailer launches and it looks garbage... I'm still on board. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're going to get me as a viewer, but like the question isn't, are they getting me as a viewer? Is it a good idea? <laughs> you know? Um, <laughs> is it going to be worse? Personally, I don't think it's a good idea, but yeah, like Tim said, let us know down below what you think. Are we stupid? Are, are we missing something? Is it going to be the best TV show or movie of all time? Let us know your thoughts down below. And is there anything Gee. else that they should do, Tim? Uh, they should like and subscribe if they haven't already. We need it. <laughs> wow, what a shameless plug. But seriously, oh, yeah. subscribe. <laughs> but this is the time of video to do that. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you in whatever we do next. Awesome. See you guys next time.